So, MNEK was missed so much by a lot of people in FIFA 14, but now he is back for some destruction in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Now, if you guys enjoy this review, I'd really appreciate a like. And also, at the end, I've changed how the graphics are. So if you like that, hit the like button so I could know if you want me to change it back. Also, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to change it back or keep it the same. But I prefer the new um, layout because it looks way more professional. So if you guys are looking for FIFA points, check out G2A. The link will be in the description. Use the code Itani for a discount as well. Um, now, M and EK, as you guys know, we're still getting the you know, trying to know what is OP in this game and what is not. But I played a lot of games now, and I definitely know what is and what isn't. And I'm going to be telling you in just a second. So to begin with, M and EK has amazing pace, and that is something that we should expect with M and EK, other than the World Cup game, of course. But his pace is back in FIFA 15, and you can definitely see that in the clips. I had to play this on last gen because, as you guys know, my time on next gen ran out. You only get six hours until the full game. So, amazing pace. You'll see him running past defenders very, very easily, very strong at the same time. So, even if defenders catch up to him, if there is any defenders that will catch up to him, they will struggle to get him off the ball, and that's only if you're running straight, guys. If you want to you know, make you know defenders fight for the ball, you have to keep running straight. If you just change directions, it makes it easier for the defenders to get the ball off you in FIFA, uh, in FIFA 15. Now, what, something that I really like about him is he just forces his way onto goal because of that amazing strength. Just keep running straight with him. Even defenders are trying to bully you off the ball, just keep running straight and eventually you'll get to the goal and you could take a shot now his finishing is um sometimes in the good side sometimes in the bad side it really depends on the weather i guess it's really inconsistent so i'm not going to put it in the pros or the cons but keep that in mind sometimes when you play with high rate of players you could definitely feel the finishing in fifa 15. so perfect work rates high attacking low defending this guy will always be in position for your counter attacks and with that amazing pace it definitely helps four star weak foot but he does have that three star skills as a con so remember that guys he isn't a skiller by any means but this guy is basically just a guy that you force your way into the penalty area with dribbling and agility is really shit and I can't stress how shit it is with MNEK say you play with Lukaku I played with Lukaku earlier he felt a lot better when it comes down to dribbling with him it, well obviously because of his attributes but when you look at both there's really similar players, but MNEK is really bad with his agility. I think it's somewhere in the 60s or even low 70s. It's really bad, and that is what makes him horrible in the game. As you guys know, uh, dribbling in this game is key. And, well, not a lot of you know because some of you haven't even played the game yet. But for me, dribbling is key this year. And if you're really awesome at dribbling, that is what's going to make you win games. Even skillers. I think skills is going to be more important this year than ever. And finesse shots... Are okay in this game, still trying to get used to them, but MNEK came really close to scoring me one from 30 to 40 yards. His shooting is sometimes really, really deadly. I actually really preferred that uh, about him because it doesn't really show that in his stats. His long shots aren't that great in his stats, but actually, when I tried shooting with him, they seemed pretty powerful and scored me a couple of goals outside the penalty area, which is quite hard in FIFA 15. His, his heading is also on the bad side, so didn't get me any headers in, no matter how many times I crossed it but then again overall heading is a lot harder in FIFA 15 as well so that's all there is to it for this play review like I said if you like the graphics or if you enjoyed this play review hit the like button MNEK is not perfect but he does get a 7.3 out of 10 hope you guys enjoyed it and hope you guys have a very nice day